Hey, this is Sister Sherry coming to you on a Monday morning. Hallelujah. And I want to start, I was going to do a, another one on tra uh, uh, travailing in prayer for Israel, but the Lord changed my direction. So anyway, I got going, we're going to go to St. John and verse 8, and I want to start with uh, about verse 12. It starts out with Jesus is the light of the world. Hallelujah. Then spake Jesus again unto them and said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but he shall have the light of life. The Pharisees therefore said unto him, Thou bearest record of thyself. Thy record is not true. What you're saying is not true. You know, and Jesus answered and said unto them, Though I bear record of myself, yet my record is true, for I know whence I come and whether I go. Hallelujah. And because you cannot tell whence I come and whether I go, ye judge after the flesh, I judge after man. Yet if I judge, my judgment is true. For I am not alone. I and I, but I and the Father that sent me. Hallelujah. That's why. So anyway, but I'm not alone. But I and the Father that sent me. Hallelujah. It is written in your laws that the testimony of two men is true. I am the witness of myself and the Father that sent me, bearest of me. And we're told in the Bible that all the fullness of the Godhead, which is God the Father, dwelt inside of him. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, this word is true, and we need to get to these scriptures uh, about who God is, hallelujah. And these words spake Jesus in the treasury, and as he taught in the temple, no man laid hands on him, but his hour was not yet come, hallelujah. Then said Jesus unto them, I go my way, ye seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whether I go, as you cannot come, hallelujah. And the Jews said, uh, then said the Jews, will he kill himself? Because he said, Whither I go, is thou cannot come. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, and I am not of this world. And I said therefore unto you, That ye shall die in your sins, if you believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. Now we go back up here. And the Bible says, if you don't believe that I am he, and who, who can do the bait? The Bible does not say all the fullness of the Godhead dwelt in God and Jesus finally. Hallelujah. So anyway, it goes back up here. But I and the Father that sent me. Hallelujah. So come on, let's, let's get this Bible within us. The true word of God. Hallelujah. And he answered to them, ye are beneath and I am from above. And I say it therefore to you, ye shall die in your sins. For if you believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. And they said unto him, Who art thou? Jesus said unto them, Even the same that I say unto you from the beginning. I have many things to say and to judge of you. But he that sent me is true. And I speak to the world these things which I have heard of him. And I want to go back to Genesis 1.1. I'm telling you what, in the beginning was the word. And the Bible says, in the beginning, God. So this is God from Mac, from Genesis to Malachi is about the Father. And it says the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Hallelujah. This same Spirit of God moved upon Mary and overshadowed her and said, Mary, what you conceived is of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Meaning that was God. Hallelujah. So he said, he's telling them from the beginning. He, God spoke that word. Jesus was the word that came forth from the Father. Hallelujah. And when you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you shall know that I am He and that I do nothing. Now listen to this. I do nothing of myself, but my what my Father has taught me, I speak these things. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you remember the Father's the Spirit. He says that He's a Spirit. And He that sent me is with me, and the Father has not left me alone, for I do always these things that please Him. My, 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 ain't just something else. And anyway, if you continue in my words, then you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Hallelujah. And, and he answered, said, we be Abraham's seed, and we're never in bondage to any man. Ye say that we're made free. And he says, verily, verily to you, whosoever committeth sin is the servant of sin. Hallelujah. I like these verses. And the servant abideth not in the house forever, but the son abideth forever. But the son, 
If the Son therefore shall make you free, you are free indeed. And if you know that you are Abraham's seed, but, but you seek to kill me because my word has no place in you. I speak these things which I have seen uh, my father, Wahi, and ye shall do what you have seen with your father, Hallelujah. And he answered and said to them, If ye were of Abraham's children, ye would do the works of Abraham. Hallelujah. And it's just like, But now you seek to kill me, a man that has told you the truth, and which I have heard, heard God this Abraham didn't do. Abraham couldn't do that because he wasn't God. Ye do the deeds of your father. And they said to him, We are not born of fornication. We have one, one father and even God. Hallelujah. And Jesus says to said, If God was your father, now listen, the Bible tells us there's one God, Father of all. So they knew this. They knew this. And he said, If God was your father, you would love me, for I proceeded. Now come on. Honey, that's why I say get in the book of John. I'm telling you, don't stay in it, but don't stay in these other books for months and months at a time and get nowhere. Get in the book of John. And Jesus said unto them, If God were your father, you would have loved me, for I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I myself, but him that sent me. Hallelujah. Go back to John 1.1. 1, 1. When the earth was void, the Spirit of God moved. Hallelujah. That's who he's talking about. And he said, I proceeded forth. Nine times there in Genesis, God spoke the word. The word came, proceeded out of his mouth. Hallelujah. That word is what became flesh. And he says, I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I myself, but him that sent me. Why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my words, ye are the father of the devil. So I want to go in there, on down to 45. It says, because I tell you the truth, you believe me not. Hallelujah. Which of you convinced me of sin? And I said the truth. Why do you not believe me? He that is of God heareth God's words. Hallelujah. Therefore, hear them not, because ye not are not of God. And he, but anyway... He begins to talk to him. The Jew says, We know that thou, if thou hast the devil. Abraham is dead in the prophets, and thou saith, If a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. They begin to tell him how false he was about it. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead, and the prophets which are dead? Who makest thou sell? And listen to this. And Jesus answered, said, If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. Now listen. This Jesus that we all, we all love and adore. He said, if I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my Father that honoreth me, of whom you say, for he is your God. Remember, all the dwellers of the Father dwell inside of him. Isaiah, the prophet, that they're, to, he's, that they're talking about this day, he said, unto you is going to be a child. He's going to be the mighty God, the everlasting Father. Hallelujah. And your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And this is another controversy because when Jesus was on that cross, he looked up and he said, Father, into thy hands I commit my spirit. That spirit went back to God, and he went in. That's why we're talking about, you know, our lives. He went into the heart of the earth. That body was that was was there for three days, he told him, and God went into the heart of the earth. The Spirit of God went into the heart of God and preached, and it said, Abraham rejo whoo, rejoiced to see my day. Hallelujah. And in three days, the Spirit went back into that body. The body come out of the tomb. Hallelujah. And anyway, Jesus said unto them, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast said, Thou hast seen Abraham. My, my, my. Verily, verily, I said to you, before Abraham was I am. Hallelujah. Then they took up stones to cast him. To cast him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, giving through the nature of his mist, and his soul passed by. His work was still not done. Uh, not done. But verse 8, 58 says, Verily, verily, as truly, truly, for assurance, truly, truly, I said you have and to you before Abraham was I am. Now I'm telling you, we go to Ephesians 3 and 4, and it says there's one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all. Hallelujah. It says there's one spirit and one body. They can't be two spirits in this body, and they can't be two bodies in there. I've heard people say the Holy Ghost is a man. That's two bodies, because Jesus is a body. And the Holy Ghost. So I don't see nowhere in this world where the Holy Ghost 
was born. But I see here in one John 1, 1, 2, how the Spirit of God was from the beginning of time. He's infinite. He's eternal. He's everything. And that's the Spirit of God that gave us to us. I was reading last night. We, we read how that... Uh, read in the Bible and how the Spirit of God went to them many times. So anyway, I hope you all have a day, a good day. And I always remember when you talk about the Son of God, who is God, that he, he looked at the Jews and he said, Burly, burly. That means truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. Hallelujah. That son, that body was not nowhere in that Old Testament because the body was born. And eight days later, he was given the name Jesus. Hallelujah. But all through the Old Testament was the Spirit. And the only thing that, that, John, that Moses could see was he saw part of his hind feet. And we get to Revelation. When Revelation, John the Revelator sees Jesus. And hallelujah. What did he say? He says he's got eyes like fire, feet like brass. Oh, my, my. He heard that voice. It says, come on higher. That's the same voice that, that we're going to hear. It's the same voice that Paul heard on the on the road to Damascus. Hallelujah. Hey, you know, I, I, I'm telling you, God is real. And he's so true. And let him come into your life today. And today, as we go along the way, the Bible, I've, I've already seen people, Gentiles, say it. They're not worried about things going on in Israel. My, my, my. How sad that is. This this salvation in this word is not ours to hoard up. We can, my salvation that God gave to me, I can't hoard it up. I've got to, and it'll always be mine, but I've got to share it. I've got to talk to people, tell people, so they can taste and see the salvation of God and that they want to come into the fold and be saved. And that way, I'm telling you, because I was telling my son, my son on the phone, I was thinking about the church, the church of Raven had a, had a Holy Ghost Spirit this time. And it'll probably come back on me today, but I'm telling you, I begin to weep and weep and weep and weep. I'm telling you because, you know what? Noah preached a hundred and some years, and finally the day come, hallelujah. And it's just like the Messiah. It was prophesied for a long time, and boom, here we had a child born unto us. And one day he's coming back to get us, and you want to be ready. You want to be ready. I'm telling you one thing because... Heaven is going to be worth the journey. My, my, my. What God has in store for us, I'm telling you one thing. The Bible says we've got a mansion, we've got crystal rivers, we've got a street of gold. And I'm telling you, we're going to have access to earth. And we're, we'll have a garden that we can tend to and all that. And my, just everything he's given us. And look, if you don't choose the Lord today, what you got is hell. And the only thing mentioned about hell, hell is going to be cast into the lake of fire where the fire never ceases. It's going to burn and burn and burn forever. Hallelujah. And I heard one book, I had seen one statement said, if you're a Christian, this is the only hell you're going to know here on earth. But if you're not a Christian, this is the only heaven you're going to know. Because my, 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 I'm telling you, heaven is going to be worth it all. And what Jesus has gave to us, and, but most of all, he says, if you don't believe that I am he, you'll die in your sins. Hallelujah. What, what is so hard about that God that stood there in Genesis and formed the world in six days? Look how beautiful it is. And how his creation, and then he went over and formed a man. How he just formed him out of dust. The creation of God alone. How, why we had to separate that God, I'll never know. Because he's the one that overshadowed Mary. He's the one that was with Abraham. He's the one that was with Isaac. Hallelujah. When he tested Isaac, he's the God that parted. He was there with Moses. And the Bible says the Spirit of God was with Moses. Well, that Spirit of God was there and helped him part the Red Sea. And we go to the New Testament when this child was being born. He says, declaring, declaring the words of God that only God could do. And how that he walked on, him, on the water. That was near the last of the other, other things he wanted to show the apostles for them to know for surely that he was God. He walked on those waters. Hallelujah. Praise God. And let me tell you, not only that, he's going to come back in the clouds and together, his children, hallelujah. I'm telling you what, people say, I don't want this, that, and the other. Well, I'm telling you, if you see Jesus, you're automatically got it all. So I want everything that God wants to promise to me. But most of all, in the meantime, 
to be thankless. That's like this, the oldest day over here in Israel. They just got through with the Feast of Tabernacle. We had the Feast of Tribes. We had the Feast of Atonement. Then the Feast of the Tabernacles. And I tried to post every one of them. That triumphant, the Feast of the Triumphant, you were to, they, were, they were to blow it all the time for you know, knowing that God delivered them out of Egypt. But one day he's coming back on those clouds to gather all of his children. Hallelujah. And it's the same way with atonement. How that God forgive. Every year he forgave that atonement. We do this in remembrance. We know about this in remembrance of what God done. So today as they're fighting in Israel. And when you want to sit on your high horse and say that God that did don't bother you. No, no, no. Honey, this all equals together. We're grafted into Israel. Hallelujah. And according to my blood disease that we got, we're part of the Jewish state. But most of all, we're part of them because God drafted us in. So we got, it's like Kim folks over there suffering for God. For his name's sake, Yahweh, Yahweh, the name is Yahweh. Woo, hallelujah. And I'm telling you one thing, so many of them ever believe in Yeshua too, that, G, that Yeshua was Yahweh, hallelujah. So today, my, 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 I'm so glad that God sent me to this and how the Holy Ghost has come upon me because I went into a weeping spirit last night and my husband come in and laid his hand on my shoulders. That's what I like about somebody that knows the power of God and knows when God's moving. And he didn't have to say what's wrong, honey. He automatically knew. Hallelujah. So I thank God for his goodness and mercy. Thank him today. And I'm telling you, if you don't know God in the part of your sins, repent today. Honey, it's not hard. I'm telling you, the only hard part about it is if not having God in your life. Hallelujah. So today, if you don't know him, repent. Be baptized, and you shall receive this gift of the Holy Ghost. And this is Christ. And once you receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, as Christ in you, the hope of glory. Hallelujah. And at that moment, he begins to give you gifts. He'll give you an armor suit. He'll give you nine spiritual gifts that he, that if you're a willing vessel, he'll work in you. And he gives you nine fruits to deal with that you could control your life, that you could go out into the world and preach the gospel. And I was thinking about yesterday. I didn't quite feel good, but anyway, uh, um, but we went to Dollar Tree late, late in the day. I needed to go get some stuff, and I, it seemed like everybody was looking at me. I had on a red dress, my hair long, everybody was looking at me. And I said, God, I never want to be up and above, but I always want to, to let people know that I'm of you. And I want people to know that I serve a living God. How do the Bible says that we are a city set up on a hill. That's what I was talking about, about Israel. Israel was only given that little strip, strip to go. And then the, the then when they got fighting and stuff, they all ran to that Gaza strip. But we got America. We, anywhere we go in America, we can shine our light before men that they may know who Jesus is. Hallelujah. And that's why I like it about Christmas. Because Christmas time comes around, everybody in the world will hear about Jesus Christ and they'll know about him. Whether they believe him or not, they'll be able to hear him. Hallelujah. So anyway, you all have a blessed day. And if you don't know the Lord, I'm telling you today, fall on your knees or wherever you're at, stand and, and say, God, come into my life. Come into life, my life. I want part of what that lady's talking about because that's what happened to me. I had to go through a visitation. I mean, I grew up in church. I was in a state in church, but to really know God and get that communication with him is on 109 D Street when he came to me. Hallelujah. So anyway, you all have a blessed day. And I'm so glad that Jesus woke me up this morning and he started me on this day. And most of all, his word is life unto us. So anyway, you all have a blessed day. And I always remember, God loves you. Yes, he does. And I always smile because he loves you. And so do we.